Hello, good day everyone. I'm Tefs. Welcome back to this channel. This next repair is an extreme 32 inch LED TV, model MF3200. It's not turning on, and a blinking indicator light only. I'll show you how to fix it. If you are new to this channel and have found it informative, so make sure you like our videos and subscribe. You can also ring the notification bell to keep you updated. So let's get started. The blinking of the light indicator is continuously no count and no code. Not like the Sony TV has a blinking code that will tell the problem. This may be a power supply problem, or a bloated capacitor problem, but seems there is no bloated capacitor around. Let's measure the voltages. The 12 volt voltage is fluctuating. Also, the LED supply fluctuates. Let's measure it with the digital multimeter. Let's set the range to 50 volts, so we can read the voltage clearly. It fluctuates from about 5 volts to 12 volts. Let's remove the hybrid board and find the problem. The main capacitor is still charged at about 319 volts DC. Let's discharge it using my 220 ohms 20 watts resistor before we test any components at the power supply. Make sure it is discharged completely. Let's remove the plastic insulator so we can access the power supply circuit. In some instance, a fluctuating voltage occurs if the VCC capacitor is defective or degraded. So let's test the capacitor's capacitance. You can test the capacitance in circuits or without removing it from the circuit. The capacitance is 11 microfarads. And the capacitor is 10 microfarads. Seems the capacitor is okay. 
Let's measure the VCC capacitor voltage. It also fluctuates from about 8 to 14 volts. The VCC voltage supply came from the ferrite transformer. In series of a resistor and the diode to the 10 microfarad capacitor. This is what it looks like in the diagram. This is the transformer coil. And this is the resistor. The diode. And the capacitor. If there is no supply coming from this circuit, the result is a fluctuating voltage. Let's test the resistor. The resistance is about 5.1 ohms, which is very close to 4.7 ohms. Sometimes we get inaccurate measurements due to not being firmly in contact with the test probes or poor contact with the resistors, especially measuring to a low ohms resistor. So the resistor is okay. Let's set the multimeter to diode mode and test the diode. zero point five eight volts is good no problem with the diode let's set the multimeter to continuity mode the coils of a ferrite transformer have very low resistance because it has only a few turns of winding of the coil. So if we test it with continuity mode it will always beep. Seems the VCC coil is open. The coil is not properly soldered to the terminals, which is why we don't have a supply to the VCC. I think this is a factory defect. As you can see there is no soldering lead that to be in the joint of the coil and to the terminal. Maybe the transformer maker was slippy at that time. Let's solder the coil to the terminal.
Let's also solder the rest. The coil is soldered to the terminal, now let's try it. The VCC voltage is now stable at 13.4 volts. And the voltage output is also stable at 12.0 volts. Let's reassemble now and see if it will work. The light indicator now is not blinking. And seems working now. A few moments later The TV now is working great Thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video you can help this channel by liking the video and subscribing then share. You can also ring the notification bell to keep you updated. Once again this is Tefs. See you again next time. Bye for now.